Early foul trouble for Iowa big man has spelled doom all season for the Hawkeye basketball team. Number 16 Ohio State and big man Terrence Stiles strode into Carver Hawkeye on Saturday, looking to snap Iowa's 12-game home winning streak. And the Hawks were shorthanded from the start. Back of Tony, point, back of point guard Tony Freeman out with a string calf, but in the first it was the Adam Haleska show as he found his touch early and couldn't be stopped. Haleska sliced and diced his way to 14 points in the first 10 minutes of the game. Check out this nice drive and dish off the back board. OSU's Terrence Dials came out hot too, matching the Hawks each time down the court. Here with the strong low post move, Dials threw Han drew Hanson into two quick first half fouls, and Hanson was forced to the bench to become a spectator. But Doug Thomas filled in nicely and shows a little hustle for the alley oop. And I was surprised that uh, that hole opened up so wide, and you know that that's, that was the exact same play I got against Arizona State, and. Uh, you know, if, if I keep seeing that hole, I'm going to keep attacking it. And Thomas finished 4-4 four for four with 8 points in the first, and the Hawks led by 4. At halftime, Iowa fans honored the 1955 Fab Five Hawkeyes who advanced to the Final Four. Do these Hawks have it in them? In the second, Buckeye Ron Lewis drives to the lane. For the tough lefty finish, Lewis finished the game with a game-high 19 points and was feeling it in the second. But Horner puts a stop to that real quick, feeding it to Thomas for his third Monster Jam of the night, igniting all 15,500 fans in Carver. And with the Hawks trailing by three, with, with eight to play, Alex Thompson comes up huge with the three. In the final seconds, Lewis can't handle the pass off his knee. Hawkeyes win 67-62, and after the games, players and coaches made sure to thank the fans. What a great win uh, for our program and, and our... Um... Uh, our seniors. They've worked so hard to get to this point and it doesn't make a season but it sure puts uh, a good light in it. As potent as they are offensively to hold them to one or two field goals in the last seven minutes of the game uh, speaks volumes for our guys effort. The Hawkeyes travel Tuesday to West Lafayette for a 7 p.m. showdown with the Purdue Boilermakers.